Hello and thank you for joining us today for this video. My name is Daphna, I am a professional makeup artist and hairstylist and I do vintage inspired and pinup beauty videos. And today I have a special guest, this is Alonzo, he's been my partner for the past uh, seven years. Hello. And Alonzo is an actor and a musician, he has a band, The Crotches, and he's no stranger to makeup. Alonzo helps me a lot with my beauty brand and with everything I do basically and he lives with me in this pink environment in general also because he's an actor and a musician and performs on stage I do his makeup quite often so he kind of knows a bit about makeup but today we're gonna test his knowledge his actual hands and technique because he's gonna do my makeup <laughs> So I prepared some products for him to try and do my makeup. We're not doing the whole face. I already did foundation. This is why I kind of look like a ghost right now. And he's gonna do all the rest of my makeup. And we're gonna be using a lot of the products from our recent launch. So he knows these products very well because he's been with me throughout the whole process uh, from development of the products to actually uh, packaging each one of them and folding the boxes and everything but I don't think you're used to actually using them so I, I feel very optimistic but I think there's one thing like understanding makeup and actually doing it I'm gonna try to imitate you as, as much as I can I'm sure it's not gonna be great but I'm really curious actually let's see I feel like it might be surprising <laughs> in a good way or in a bad way either way I don't know let's try so as I mentioned, I have foundation on and we're gonna start from, actually from whatever you feel like starting. So I laid out some of the products and the brushes to make things a bit easier, but from this point on, I'm not gonna butt in, although I'm a control freak. <laughs> if anybody knows me, they know I'm a control freak and I kind of hate my makeup being done by other people, even professional makeup artists. So this is gonna be a bit hard for me to like let, let go. Let go. Most of the products we're gonna be using today are from the pinup kit, which is a makeup kit I'm launching these days. It has the rose glow palette, which we're gonna be using today for the face and the eyes maybe <laughs> free tip for me okay. yes we're gonna use the bold eyeliner for the eyeliner we're gonna use a pair of lashes from the poodle collection which are the doll lashes i picked them up for you because i feel like they're kind of the easiest to apply because they're a bit short and you're gonna choose one of the lipsticks I'm not gonna meddle in that as well. I prepared all three lipstick shades of the collection, so you can choose yourself. Let's go! And that's it, yes, let's start. <laughs> I have one tip for you, just one. Just because I already put concealer on my eyelids, so the first thing I would do is blend it, and that's it. Blend it. Okay. Nice. Okay, I'm gonna start. Okay. I thought about it. I think the the hardest part is gonna be the eyeliner. So I'm gonna start with that. And I'm gonna use where is the eyeliner brush? Oh, there it is. Mm, I wanna tell you something first. <laughs> no more tips. You don't do eyeliner before you do something else in the eyes. Daphna told me a little secret because she couldn't stop meddling. She told me I have to do the eyeshadows first. <laughs> so I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna start with the eyeshadows. And we're using the Rose Glow Blush Kit to do it, right? <laughs> From now on, I'm not meddling. Okay, I'm gonna use the glow one for the eyeshadow, not the rose one. How is it going? It feels right. <laughs> Very gentle. I'm trying to imitate your mm. movements mm -hmm. when I see you do your makeup. You're succeeding. Also, I remember you told me once that you have to do both eyes at the mm, same time. Nice. I didn't consider it that you were doing it. And uh, not finish one eye and then go to the other one. This way you maintain the symmetry better. Can I give a tip about touch? 
to the viewers as well. Good. You have a very gentle touch, but because I'm with my eyes closed and I can't see the brush coming, it's kind of startling each time. Mm -hmm. So if you kind of gently touch the face just before you touch the eyelids, it's much more relaxing. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, I'm like, uh, like afraid of the brush all the time. I'm not sure about how high do I need to go on the eyelid. I'm, I'm not like, gonna say. <laughs> I'm gonna start not as high and then Worst case, I will add more later. Okay. Now I'm gonna do your eyeliner. Okay. First, maybe I'm gonna use this pencil. Please look up. <laughs> I'm <really> scared. <laughs> okay. This I've actually done to myself a lot of times. Put your chin down a little bit and look up. The makeup teacher in me wants to give tips as we go along. <laughs> but I'm just gonna say not to you, but to the viewers. To make this easier for people, you need to separate. Like, do this and mm -hmm. then do the lines so it's easier. I'm gonna give tips, Each but makeup after you do his, it. <laughs> have his own methods. Okay. Now I'm trying to do eyeliner. I think this is gonna be the hardest part for mm -hmm. me. Open, close. Close. Already crooked. <laughs> I'm gonna fix it. Should they look or not? No. like you're doing your eye makeup look on me yeah, I'm gonna go more my style mm -hmm. my no problem I think I really fucked it up <laughs> okay it's it's punk now I'm gonna do the lips Still with your eyes a bit closed, oh. <laughs> now it's all smooshed, but we can fix it. Okay. Let's go all the way, punk. <laughs> okay. Keep your eyes closed. I'm doing more eye shadow. It's gonna be kind of like a smoky look. In mm. I'm gonna put some blush on you now. Yeah. What do you know about this blush? About how to use it? I know it's uh, very pigmented, so mm -hmm. we have to use just a little bit with small taps. smells like roses. Mm -hmm. I think I already used too much. <laughs> but I'm gonna That's what I was trying to hint you. I'm gonna, I'm gonna blend it a little bit. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what it looks like, but it's I think it's weird. good that your eyes are still closed. Mm -hmm. Tap, tap, tap. Mm -hmm. Now a little bit of glow. And now, <laughs> the lips. I'm gonna use the perfect red. Open your eyes, let me see. <laughs> okay. I'm using the perfect red, because it's classic. I'm trying to decide if I'm gonna use the brush or the applicator. I think I'm gonna start with the applicator, actually, and then maybe use the brush. Let's open your mouth a little bit. I love the smell. Close 
I got a glimpse in the mirror for one second. I need to clean your teeth now. Open your mouth a little bit more. Make a shape with the brush. Open your mouth a little bit. What are you feeling? Is it going well or not? I think it's going really bad actually. <laughs> Can you open your mouth? But I already knew it's gonna be really hard. Mm -hmm. Especially when I'm used to seeing really perfect makeup mm -hmm. all the time. Large shoes to fill, you know? Mm -hmm. I'm gonna put some eyelashes on you now. Can you open my eyes? But don't look. Uh, open your mouth a little bit. Okay, eyelashes. <laughs> so you do this, <laughs> put some glue on it. This doesn't feel too wrong. I would have used a bit too much glue. Can you open your eyes a little bit? <laughs> oh no. Well, open. Is it stuck? Open your eyes. A little bit of glue here. Oh. I'm, gonna, I'm gonna do it. Open, open. <laughs> open your eyes. <laughs> I saw the mirror. <laughs> This is like the funniest part. <laughs> <laughs> I want to see if you glue the correct. Ah, you glue the correct eyelash on each eye. This is for me also the hardest uh, eye to do the eyeliner. <laughs> Comments? Are you done? Are you happy? I'm not happy. I'm not <laughs> happy at all, but I think this is as, as good as it gets. It looks like you already ate something with the lipstick. Mm -hmm. And the shape is not very good. I think the eyeliner is a bit, should have been higher on your eye. And okay. you look a bit like a clown. <laughs> you look like a cute vintage clown. The lips are actually pretty good. Like, I think only by fixing it, you kind of smudged it, right? I feel like you try to fix the corners. It was more smudged than this. Mm. <laughs> Anything else you want to add? No, let's go out. <laughs> I'm ready. So wait, did you put eyeshadow on top of the eyes? Yeah. Oh, <laughs> wait. And you forgot to put mascara. That's why... Because actually you did a pretty good job with the eyelashes. Maybe here less than mm. here. <laughs> These ones are a bit... I feel like they're very separated from your own eyelashes. Yes, they're and pretty usually high. Usually it's supposed to be like really tight on them, on right? On this one it's a bit better. This one, they're really okay, separated. Okay, so let's put some mascara on and it. And also, we'll blend it I think the lack of mascara makes it much worse. Wait, I'll get closer. Okay, mm -hmm. I think mascara will really help. <laughs> on the yeah. eyelashes, on the false eyelashes. Yeah, I guess not. Okay, but... some people do it, but I, I personally don't. Okay, so you see, it's it's actually better when you have mascara. Like mm -hmm. my eyelashes. I were... don't think it helped too much. <laughs> I think like the amount of blush kind of gets lost in the camera because it's a bit light but like in real life I do look more uh, clownish a bit. I don't feel ugly, like I feel cute. 
I really do. Like it's hard making you ugly. <laughs> but <laughs> I think it's the worst makeup you wore for years. I don't feel so it's bad. Safe to say. I don't feel that bad. Mm -hmm. I think this is like throwing me off the most. Clown nose. Yeah, the lipstick is kind of nice actually. I think like this is the best part. Probably like this are the corners need some sharpening. Mm -hmm. Can I point out some mistakes? Maybe it's like good tips. For the, I think for the audience. Yes, exactly. Because we're not gonna do this again, probably. But I also wanted to highlight your uh, small mole here. Mm -hmm. Nice. So for the lips, because you were actually like pretty close, but I think it's better to do it with closed mouth. Mm -hmm. I think you were focusing too much like on the inside. That's mm -hmm. why got, it got on the teeth, and also like you were correct when you went this way but then you didn't go this way like you kept going all the time like this way mm -hmm. the blush before applying it you know you need to take out some on your hand I, I, sometimes i did and sometimes mm -hmm. i did it yeah because it's like it's very saturated but the actual placement is like it's good um, the eyeliner <laughs> ah, i know what's the first mistake mm. you made with the eyeliner that kind of derailed everything it's better to mark the corners with the eyes open because with the eyes mm. closed you're kind of going lower and then because you started out so low that's why you had to like kind of all the time fix it by just going bigger and bigger like if we'll erase this part yes like it would be much the better. lower parts yeah but that's something if the eyes were open you would have known maybe to go mm. a bit higher mm -hmm. and eyelashes of course you need mascara first and i think you felt like it's a lot of glue because you need to maybe put glue on one of the eyelashes put it aside go to the other one while the first one dries a bit and then go back mm. and that's why it felt like it's very wet like the glue was very wet you did do the correct eyes Mm -hmm. There is a difference. Like yeah, yeah. The the outer corners are Bigger, usually the longer. the longer parts, so you did it correctly. And here you placed it correctly. Here you placed it a bit to inside. And the eyeshadow, like you did a good job. And that's it. It's not that bad. I know it. you feel like you you have big expectations. Go closer to the camera. I see the final, very mediocre result. <laughs> and I like the nose highlight. <laughs> on the tip of the nose <laughs> and the highlight here is also in the correct placement I think okay. we've said it all we've, <laughs> we've done it all okay so close it up this was very interesting I actually really enjoyed it like first of all it was entertaining and very educational very entertaining and educational and I don't know, it was relaxing for me like to feel you doing my makeup and I was just like at some point I let go and I didn't try to see what you're doing or tell you like put mascara on or something like that and it was pretty fun. I think you haven't watched like any of these videos of like my boyfriend does my makeup but I think probably you're like in a good spot compared to those. I don't know, I haven't seen also many of them but I feel like you know what each thing is and where you put it and the correct yeah. placement and the correct brush so it's already you know <laughs> i only compete with myself so yes it doesn't really okay. matter to me thank you for participating in this video <laughs> you did a really nice work and it was funny for me and relaxing so i enjoyed it and that's it thank you for watching our video and we'll see you on the next one bye